So it looks like Rob Skiba has accidentally proven a flat earth is round. He put out this video titled, Rob Skiba proves the Chicago skyline as seen from the other side is not a mirage. And in it, he got in a boat and crossed Lake Michigan from Chicago to the far side and filmed the Chicago skyline along the way. In fairness, Skiba's images of the Chicago skyline don't appear to show mirage effects. The buildings maintain their shapes and show no evidence of distortion as he crosses the lake. Compare this new Skiba video to the often cited Nowicki images in which the buildings distort, shimmer, invert, and otherwise show clear evidence of atmospheric aberrations. I made a video some time back in which I zoomed in on the dancing buildings in Nowicki's time-lapse videos. Clearly there's something going on there. At any rate, I was browsing the comments on Skiba's video and I came across this comment by Flat Earth Math. He says, I created an infographic showing the progression across the lake. Enjoy. So I went and had a look. And Flat Earth Math's uh, infographic is indeed an eye-opener. I asked if he planned on using it in a video and he responded that he wouldn't uh, because he's currently working on another project. But he added, you're welcome to the image. Have your way with it. And here is his image. What he's done is he's extracted still images of the Chicago skyline from Skiba's video as Skiba progressed across the lake. He plotted these images with distances and timestamps from Skiba's video, revealing the pace at which the Willis Tower sinks below the horizon as Skiba moves away from Chicago toward the far side of the lake. So that's interesting. Now, the amount of the tower that's hidden by the skyline on a spherical planet should be a square of the distance. So we should be looking at a parabola here. I wondered if we plot these images against the distance to Chicago, will they form a parabola? And will that parabola match the parabola we expect based on the curvature of a planet that's almost 25,000 miles in circumference? So I measured the amount of the Willis Tower that's obscured by the horizon in Flat Earth Mass images. I measured the building only without the antenna, and I took into account the 18-foot elevation of the foot of the building above the lake surface. I then plotted the percentage of the building that's visible against the distance to the building. The blue line is the percentage of the building that should be visible according to the basic equation for the horizon of a spherical planet. The red line is the same thing, but with an adjustment made for simple atmospheric refraction. The black dot that you see is the Willis Tower from Skiba's video. The rate to which Skiba's tower sinks below the horizon is eerily consistent with what one expects for a spherical planet. So isn't math beautiful? But perhaps we shouldn't jump to conclusions. Let's get another flat earther to weigh in on this. How about, um, how about the Morgyle? What do you say, Mr. Morgyle? Do you concur? things like a knee-jerk reaction at the speed of thought, all of our training and programming, courtesy of the federal school system, leads every last person on this world to react the exact same way when you simply mention the phrase flat earth, even in a very casual conversation with someone you know very well, and even if that person understands that you have a decent level of intelligence, and completely, let's say it's your mother or your brother's girlfriend, or, you know, a couple random examples, they completely trust you. So you tell them, did you know that I recently concluded that our... Oh, never mind.